and my very dear heroes and sheroes of Naipur. I'm delighted to be here on this auspicious occasion when this convocation ceremony is held in the presence of stalwarts and dignitaries. I am a student of English literature. When I was sitting with the stalwarts to the right and left of me, I was reminded of what Dryden spoke of the characters of Chaucer. Here is God's plenty. I am delighted to be one among them. And I congratulate all those who have built up this institution of excellence over the years through certain toil. I am reminded of what Sir Winston Churchill said about the Royal Air Force during the war. He said, never before, never before has so much been done by so few to so many in so short a time. This I would repeat about this institution as well. Never before has so much been done by so few to so many in so short a time. Congratulations to all who have worked behind this. I congratulate those students who have received their degrees and of course the gold medalists. I remember when I was a student long, long time ago, I also had the opportunity to receive a gold medal. I know what it means in the mind of the recipient. I congratulate all of you as far as academic honors are concerned. There are no winners and the losers. There are only winners and winners. I congratulate the winners. I also congratulate the winners. Please, who you are with, you have ample opportunities waiting for you. Yes, I remember. I was also comparing notes with the honorary director. What Madhavan and Shaw, what is he to pharmacy education in the country? I would say Madhavan and Shaw is to pharmacy education in the nation. What Mahatma Gandhi is to India. He is the father of the nation. Madhavan and Shaw is the father of pharmacy education here. Three years to the great mind which has ushered in new concept of pharmacy education, which has caused all of us to be assembled here. There are many instances which I remember in times when I think of the pharmacy industry in this country. I was also in a way associated with combating pandemic. If India is free of pandemic to an extent, we owe it to the pharmaceutical sector. I was delighted to hear the director saying one third of the pills consumed in, consumed in America is manufactured in India. India is emerging as a pharmacy of the world and you are all responsible for that. I remember a pharmacy student, you know, both of them studied in India and one was an Indian, one was an American. They went to America, they got job initially as medical representative. The American student, he will get up in the morning, take his bag, he's always in a hurry, he has gulps his breakfast somehow or other, he rushes out. The Indian pharmacy student, he will be relaxing in the easy chair, reading newspaper and sipping a cup of coffee. Once the American student pharmacist asks the Indian pharmacist, why are you sitting like this? Why are, he, said, he said, why are you in a hurry? The American said, I will meet the doctors, I will tell them about the new products, I will get more and more orders, I will make more and more money, and then, then I will start my own pharmaceutical manufacturing industry, then, then I will make more and more money, then, then I will become a billionaire, and then, then I will relax. The Indian student said, that's what I am doing now, I am relaxing. We know. Yes, in India, we are proud to believe from childhood, Harira Madhyam Khala Sarma Sadhana. Yes, in Latin they say, Men Sana in Corpore Sana. Translated to English, it means, as you know, a sound mind in a sound body. The pharmacist makes the body sound 
and education. Education should be there to make the mind sound. And pharmacy education means it takes care of both body and mind. Matter and mind, what does I remember? Dr. S. Radha Krishnan, Sarvapali Radha Krishnan, when he was a spanning professor of Oxford, which is not a joke as you know, the spanning professor is the ultimate in the field of philosophy. And he was twice he was a spanning professor, two times. Once, a meeting was we had this like Rana Sabrin there. Here is the greatest philosopher of the century, Spalding Professor of Oxford, Dr. Sarvapali Radhavishan, speaking on the relation between matter and mind. The Albert Hall, like this, thousands and thousands of scholars were assembled, all the media were there. They wanted to listen to the momentous speech to be made by the greatest philosopher on Indian thought. Sarvapali Radhavishan stood up, the tall figure that he is. Then he asked a question, explaining or explicating the relation between, the complicated relation between matter and mind. He said, what is matter? The whole world stayed with major breath to hear the answer to this. What is matter? Answer, never mind. <laughs>